Okay, so I just wanted to give a quick, uh, I just want to make a quick instructional video on how to make a highlight video for volleyball players. Um, the program that I'm using is called AVI Demu, uh, and the, there will be a link in the description uh, for you to download it. The first thing you want to do is drag your video uh, into AVI Demu. Then it takes a little bit of a second, uh, a little bit of time to, to load up. You just got to wait for that. While we're waiting for that, a uh, couple things uh, about making a highlight video for volleyball. You always want to start with the highest quality videos that you can so that the, the video that's outputted is also of high quality. And you want to use full plays from whistle to whistle. Um, another good thing to do is use video that's taken from the coaching angle, uh, which is from behind the court and slightly elevated so you can see clearly both sides of the court as uh, with this video. Now, with this program, the default settings for video and output should be copy. That's fine. We're going to leave it that way. Um, down here, you have the slider bar that allows you to move forward and backwards uh, in the video. Uh, one of the things that I want to mention about digital video is the video is broken up into individual frames. Um, but normal video is broken up into individual frames. But with digital videos, you have what are called keyframes. Um, it's important to start and stop your videos uh, on a keyframe. Now, in this particular program, you can move forward and backwards by keyframe by clicking either this button to move forward or this button to move backwards. So basically, the way the program works is uh, you can play the video. When you get to the, the clip that you want to save, uh, you click stop, adjust it using the slider, and then set the video to start on a keyframe by either moving backwards or forwards by clicking either this button or this button. Once you're at the beginning of the clip, you click the A button to set the start of the clip and you can see everything is highlighted. Uh, then I normally click play, let the, the play play out. Okay, then once the play's over, you would click stop, which is this button right here. Then click the keyframe button to either forward or advance to stop on a keyframe. Then click the B button. Now you see a section of the slider bar is highlighted. At this point, what would you what you would do is click on file and then save. And we're going to save this in, whose folder are we going to save this in? Let's do it in Becky Perry's. So when you give the video a name, what you're doing is you're actually saving individual clips that you can combine later. So I like to uh, name the, the videos in numerical order so that when I'm looking at all my clips later, I know uh, in what approximate sequence they came in. So since this is the first video, we're going to name it video 001. Now with this program, you have to give the video uh, an extension. So this particular video is an AVI extension. So I would add the AVI extension by putting a period, uh, AVI, and then I would click save. And there you have it. Uh, one clip has been saved. So you would go through your video and do that for each one of the clips. And then in another video, I'll show you how to combine the clips later.